everyone, this is Neri over here at Images on the Page. Today I am also going, to, I know, it's the same shirt. I'm going to be doing the bookshelf book tag. This was originally created by A Wandering Mind. I will link that down below, or link their channel down below. And I saw it over by Drinking by Your Shelf. And I will link her channel down below as well. Question number one is how many bookshelves do you have? Well, there's the two you see behind me. I have a short three shelf bookshelf across and then I have my TBR shelf so I have four. Question number two, how many books are on your bookshelves or how many do you think is on your bookshelves? Well I counted this, oh, these shelves hold about 20, 27 books and since most of them are full I just kind of times that by how many shelves I had and I estimated I have about 330 maybe give or take a few. Um, some, you can see, aren't completely full. That's because I have loaned out some books. So they are currently missing. Question number three is how do you organize your books? So um, I do my bookshelves by genre. And then in that bookshelf, I do my favorite books first. So a good example right here is my fantasy shelf. My fantasy shelf, this top one. And then I have like my favorite authors on the top row. And then like in varying degrees of how much I liked them going down. There are some exceptions because like here is my romance mystery shelf and Linda Howard is my favorite author but I have the most of hers and it's obviously not full so she has to go on the bottom until I have enough that I can stick around the top. Question number four is what is the oldest book on your bookshelves? I don't know if they mean the oldest book I own like that's been published or the longest book the book I've had the longest. I'm I'm gonna just go with the book that I've had the longest because I don't know when half of these were written. I have all my school stuff so I have a whole bunch of like classics. Those are probably among the oldest ones but the the oldest book, the longest book I've owned, the book I've owned the longest, there we go, the book I've owned the longest is my first bible. This is for my aunt and uncle. My family, my whole family's Christian. My parents are Catholic. And I got this at my first christening, which was May 5th, 1991. And I was born February 4th, 1991. So this one has been in my shelves the longest. What is the newest book on your bookshelf? So I'm gonna just put the book that I have put on, cause I have my books separated Oh, I have my books shelves separated into red and unread. These are all my red shelves. My TBR probably has my newest books, although that not, might not necessarily be true because some of them I've had for a while. So the newest ones to these, to my red bookshelves, is The Love Interest by Cal Dietrich. I read this back in November of last year. Um, it is one of the newest, newer books I read. Let me see when it was published. Yeah, the copyright is 2017, so it is probably one of the newer books I own. Um, just because I'm not pretty good, at, I'm not all that good about staying up on new releases. So, I'm pretty bad about catching them when they actually come out. Question number six is what is the longest book on your bookshelf? Um, it used to be the Robert Jordan Wheel of Time series, but I have recently all um, hauled that. Some of his books reached up in the thousand pages, but the one that is currently the longest is Archeron by Sherilyn Kenyon. It's one of my favorite ones she's written. This one is almost um, 700 pages long, or is, is 700 pages long, and it's probably the longest book on my bookshelf. Question number seven is what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? So the shortest book on my bookshelf is Soul Dance by Takako Are. Um, it's a collection of poetry. I got to listen to her read her poetry in college. And what's really cool is like some of them, here's an example. Some of them has like the English on one side and um, it has English on one side and then the Japanese on the other, but it has the original language it was published in. And it was signed because, I, like I said, I got to see her read, so that is really cool as well. 
Question number eight is what is the predominant genre on your bookshelves? I would have to say it's actually YA. I don't know if, I mean, that one probably has the most, but it's kind of hard to say because this one is fantasy, like I said. There's probably about 50 books on here, but this one, this one, and then the one under it are is all YA. So they're probably neck and neck. It's kind of hard to say because I haven't actually counted them. Question number nine is, have you done a bookshelf tour? I have not, but it is actually the plan to do a bookshelf tour this month. Just because I mentioned in one of my unhaul videos that I cover my books first, at least the paper, the soft cover books. I cover and then they come up here after I've read them. So I was going to kind of do a video showing how I cover them and then doing giving the bookshelf tour. And when I have that, I will list it, I will link it down below it under that question. Question, question number 10 is go to a random number generator and generate the numbers between one and how many books you have and then choose a book based on that number. I had to do that before I started filming because I am filming on my phone so I don't, I can't, I don't want to stop filming just to do the number generator. Well the one it, the number it was was 48. The one it corresponded with was Tamora Pierce Battle Magic. It is part of the Circle Reforges series. It's, the ones in the Circle Reforges are more like standalone, they're part of the same time period. And if you guys know anything about me, you know that I really love her books, so I don't really need to say too much more about that. This Question number 11 is do you have merch, bookish, fan merch, or any other, doctor, any other de decorations on your bookshelves? As you can see, I definitely do have a few. I have a dolphin right there, it's kind of hard to see. I have a plaque right here that says I can't live without books by Thomas Jefferson and then that's just a light bulb so that's not really merch but that is um, a Dr. Seuss bag. Here I can hold it up. I have a lot more stuff on my TBR shelf just because it's downstairs but I also put stuff on there like bills and stuff that I know I'm gonna need to pay because I I want to know where it is in my TBR shelf. It's very easy for me to remember that I stuck it there, so I do keep a lot more stuff on that. Number 12 is show us your bookshelves. Well, you can see them. Those are the main two. I don't know if this is going to work. That was the short one that is across from these two. And number 13 is tag someone. So I have, I don't know who I'm going to tag. I would really like to tag um, Brushing Bookends. Megan and Alessandra, I really love their channel. They're really awesome. I don't know if they follow me though. Maybe I can kind of add them on Twitter or something, kind of catch their interest, tell them I tag them. But if you haven't checked them out, definitely check them out. And I tag anyone else who wants to do this. And, well, hopefully keep a watch out for my bookshelf tour. And then... But until the next video, ta-ta for now.